So I got a car a few years ago. It's a 2003 Toyota Avalon with 240,000 miles on it. I've put about 40,000 miles of that on myself. I bought it from my in-laws, and they were nice enough to sell it to me so that we could have a four-door vehicle for the four people in my family. I was about to buy a two-door Honda Civic and have to scoot the seat forward to get the car seats for the kids, and I was super in debt back then and just wanted to get out of debt, so I was going to buy a vehicle on a budget. I'd bought a truck earlier, and luckily during COVID, I was able to sell the truck for within $1,000 of what I had originally paid for it from the dealership. I went with the person who was buying it to the bank, and we cashed the check there in person and made sure it cleared. After that, I handed over my keys and most of the debt that I had outside of the house in my life. It was one of the only times in history that used vehicles had went up in value. Luckily, the market saved me from my own stupid decisions. So this car, we named her the luxury sedan. We found out that Toyota Avalons are a luxury sedan, and so the name kind of stuck. The family loves her. She rides so smooth. She's got leather seats, a moonroof, electric windows, electric mirrors, heated seats, and it even used to have a little fob that would unlock the doors and lock them with a remote. We put in a Bluetooth radio. It doesn't have a touch screen like new cars do. There's less stuff to break, and I just love that about it. I am in love. Two years ago, I was on my way to church during a holy day of obligation, and a big old truck spat a rock onto the windshield and it cracked. And then the crack grew way across the windshield. Just yesterday in the cold, I heard it warming up and heard a big old pop, and the crack went further. The next crack in the windshield came when there was a tornado within a few miles of town. I went outside and the tree in the front yard looked like it was doing somersaults in the wind. We bought the kids a basketball hoop and it came down with all the wind from that storm onto the car and landed on the windshield. The metal from the hoop cracked it at the top and now I have a crack at the top of the windshield and the bottom of the windshield. But it hasn't flown in my face just yet. I have a plan on fixing it soon just have to get the money back to the car it is dependable it's the height of luxury for early 2000s and wasn't that the last time the world was sane and normal anyways it's a relic of the best times before things got weird there's a glove box because before people worked with their hands and not with their laptops and i'm saying that with conviction while writing this on a computer after working at a job on a laptop The kids can fall asleep in this car better than any other car. The lights are normal lights, not those blinding, excruciating LED lights that are bonkers and sear the back of your eyeballs to your medulla oblongata. So the other day, we were driving and the tires were bald and we hit a patch of water and went hydroplaning across the road. Luckily, I was able to correct the vehicle before we went into the ditch. It's very hilly here. And then, I was driving to a fast food joint that has a bit of a bump going to the hill. The car in the other lane would not slow down. I had to gun it to get it there, and the car bottomed out and broke a spring from just the sheer force of the car and the speed hitting the concrete. So now I got a car in the repair shop. You really don't know what you got until it's gone. It's a cliche for a reason. And even the phrase cliche for a reason is cliche for a reason. Today, I had to go to work in the office. And my wife needed her vehicle too, so I was without a vehicle, and I walked to work. It was 13 degrees outside. I drank most of the cup of coffee and took off my gloves. The last few drops froze in the cup by the time I got there, and my hands were tingling. It was so cold. I said it was negative 2 with the wind chill. That wouldn't have happened in the luxury sedan, oh no. I would have got there with heated seats, a warm butt, and a radio playing me music. Or I could have hooked up the phone and played a podcast. It's like being a prisoner talking about food you'd be eating if there wasn't if you weren't in jail. So the car's getting fixed. It needs two tires for winter time, a new light, a new spring, an alignment, a windshield. It needs a lot of things. I miss that car. I can't wait until the family's finally back riding in the luxury sedan again. I got 240,000 miles on it right now. I hope I can get another 240,000 on it. 
But of course, this is me being dreamy and dramatic right now. I haven't got the bill for the car repair yet. We'll see how I feel about this car tomorrow. But for today, I miss her.